In this side, we have a lot of cool features. Starting with the weapons, here we have an air gun. Uh, it sends out a wave that pushes an enemy machine further away. For example, if there's some enemy machine trying to ram into this side, this air gun will push it further away and it has a lot of power. And then here there's an accurate machine gun and then after that we have uh, these legendary ruby powered lasers. So here's the ruby. That's the ruby. Let me just put So these lasers are movable as you can see and they are really powerful but not as powerful as this one. So uh, here we have uh, a handled minigun which this lady is holding and that's also movable. So yeah. So here after that we have this long distance bomb launchers. Uh, it's the same thing as the ones in the Scorpionog destroyer. Uh, they work the same but this thing is on the side and uh, they also use guided bombs that just go wherever you like send them and these go really far so if you're just launching it randomly into this side they go really far to hit the target here we have two clocks and two lights which are also movable and after that under the lasers we have this ventilator and here we have a plant here we have a glass protected vantage point with spaces for shooting over here. So if someone is attacking from above using a jet or whatever, uh, the person can duck down underneath and shoot or they can take protection over here. Here we have a wedge shaped protection roof with a ventilator. This is a comfort zone as well as we have uh, an interstorable cooking stove over here which just comes out over here after you fold this part down. The best thing about this side is that we have a lot of ventilators. So there's one here and one over here and then some over here as well. Yeah and then there's one more over here. There are a lot of uh, attachment points for guns and other weapons over here as you can see. The top is where the most powerful things are stationed in the armor First, let's start off with the battery which gets recharged when the machine moves. Uh, even the battery moves like this. Beside that, there's the lightning conductor. Uh, what this does is, it sends a charge of concentrated electricity which it, uh, up to the sky, which in turn reflects back as a powerful shower of um, lightning targeted at the enemy therefore short circuiting the enemy machine and frying it to ashes now all of you may wonder where all this energy comes from well it obviously won't come from the battery cause if it does it will drain out all the power from the battery causing the machine to power down the powerful energy comes from this legendary statue yes this absorbs immense amounts of energy but if it absorbs a lot of energy, it will send a powerful wave, strong and uncontrollable that it can destroy the Armageddon itself and other machines around it. Next to this, there's this really powerful statue, the Peacock statue. Normally, it does nothing and is practically useless. But when the controller enters sage mode, he, uh, he can enter the statue's mind and activate its true power. This statue has both defense and offense. It can spread its feathers and form a shield around whatever it has to protect. And the shield can't be penetrated by anything except the laser beams of the magma statue. And you all might wonder what the magma statue is. Well, it's the name of this uh, legendary statue that I mentioned before. The reason for this name is it, uh, it was said to be found uh, in magma. Back to the peacock, it can launch its feathers which are really dangerous projectiles as they contain a substance which weakens the structure of anything these feathers pierce through. 